This video is going to show you how to quickly and easily make what's called a photogram. A photogram is a cameraless image that you make using only objects and photo paper uh, using the enlarger and uh, made in the darkroom. Uh, so let's get started. I am uh, here at this uh, regular Nikkor enlarger that I demoed or uh, uh, showed folks how to use in a previous video. I'm going to turn on the main power source, and uh, the, this uh, enlarger immediately lights up because the timer is set to focus, uh, which is this F setting right here. I want that to be set to time, so I'm going to flip that switch up, and now my enlarger will only turn on uh, for five seconds when I push the start button right here. That's how these time light analog uh, timers work. I need to turn on the safe lights. So go over here. I'm going to turn on the bottom switch, safe lights, and I'm going to turn off the fluorescent light switch uh, so we get this red glow. And you'll notice that if I flip this back to focus, I get this rectangle of light. And that's important uh, because I need the rectangle of light to be big enough to cover the paper that I'm using. Um, this easel, which we'll use later in the term, is 8 by 10, which is the size of my paper, which is here in this box. And um, I need to make sure that this rectangle is going to cover that. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit to make it a little bit higher, and I'm going to make it as bright as it will go. Uh, remember, you can turn the lens, the uh, dial on the end of the lens to make your enlarger brighter. When I'm ready uh, to expose my paper, I turn everything off, uh, the timer, I mean, to get the light off of there, and I need to do this one-handed. Um, this is Ilford paper, uh, courtesy of Jenny and Ryan, who left this behind. Um, I do not know who Jenny or Ryan are, if either of you are watching this video, um, please email me uh, and claim your prize um, because I think that would be a funny story. This is a fresh box of paper. I'm going to take out one piece. Photo paper in, uh, in the dark room, in the dark, is difficult to decipher whether the uh, which side is the emulsion side or not. Um, so on this uh, pearlescent paper satin finish, I'm going to guess that it's the sh slightly shinier side. So I'm going to set that right there in the middle. I've closed up my paper. I always keep my paper closed when I'm working um, just to keep it from getting contaminated. I've got a collection of objects here that I'm going to use. I'm going to set them on the paper and try to get some sort of interesting shape. Got a sponge. I've got this print grabber thing. I've got a paintbrush, and I've got two paintbrushes actually. Um, and I'm going to do that. And so I've got. Oh no! I want them to stay, stay up. Don't roll away. There we go. I want to prop this sponge up because I want to show people what this does. And to make a picture, so to speak, of all these objects, I get them set up on my paper. Paper is emulsion side up, facing, I'm pointing, facing the enlarger lens and the light. And I'm going to go over to my timer, which is set to five seconds. And I'm going to turn it on.